What's up guys, this is Tarman149 and this is day 30 of the Everyday January video series and there's only tomorrow left and the series is over, I can't believe it. Um, for me it's gone by really really fast, um, yeah I didn't expect it to go by this fast but it's been pretty awesome and um, I'll please as usual check out the other dudes doing it, the links will be down below and they're awesome as well and congrats on everybody for almost finishing. Um, and today I was going to do a, a Blu-ray unboxing and a review, but thanks to Best Buy's incompetent customer service, I do not have a Blu-ray to review or, or Blu-ray to unbox. So, plan two. And plan two was that the SAG Awards were tonight, um, uh, SAG as in Screen Actors Guild Awards, and um, uh, it really honestly was more of the same in terms of winners. There weren't really any surprises, but... Um, yeah, let's get to my thoughts on the winners. So, let's start off with... Uh, honestly, I'm not going to do the TV categories because I don't watch a lot of these shows, so I don't know a lot about them except a few. But I was happy that um, Boardwalk Empire won. Um, uh, they won big in the TV categories. They won... C. Buscemi won for Best Performance by a Male Actor um, in a Drama Series, and he, that was well-deserved. He's a great actor, and he's great in Boardwalk Empire. And then, um, oh, and when Betty White went for Hot in Cleveland for Best Performance by a Female Actor in a Comedy Series, she took forever to get up to the podium. Like, at least a minute. It was ridiculous. I was like, when is she going to get there? When is she going to get there? And, I mean, but she's old, but <laughs> it was pretty interesting. It just took such a long time to get up there. Um... And I was kind of surprised that Modern Family won. I didn't think it would uh, win Best Performance by an Ensemble in a Comedy Series. That was pretty crazy. Um, honestly thought it was be, it would be either 30 Rock or Glee, but I heard Modern Family was really good, so congrats to them. And then we have um, Outstanding Performance by a female, female Actor in a Supporting Role. And the winner was... Dun -dun -dun -dun, Melissa Leo. Um, I think... Well, I mean, honestly, I still think it's up in the air. Um... Ha ha ha, no pun intended, but um, uh, I still think that the category can be won by honestly any of the nominees for the Oscar, and um, uh, but uh, Melissa Leo is definitely the front runner, even though that she, even though she's not a lock. I personally would rather Amy Adams or Helena Bonham Carter win, but that's just me. Then we have outstanding performance by a male actor in a supporting role, and the winner is uh, of course Christian Bale. He's lock. He's gonna win the Oscar. No questions asked. Sorry, Jeffrey Rush. Sorry. I wanted. I like you, Jeffrey Rush, but honestly, Christian Bale was the better performance. He was great in the fighter. Then we have outstanding performance by a female actor in a leading role. Yay, Natalie Portman. Go girl. You're awesome. Um. Yeah. Really. No, no surprises there. Um. Uh, I think she's a lock for best actress. I hope she's a lock for best actress. I will be pissed if Annette Benning wins. So pissed as she shouldn't even be the one nominated for her film. It should be Julianne Moore if somebody's going to get nominated for the kids. All right. I've been saying that in the past videos and I still think it's true. Um, honestly, I think that the only people who can take it away from her are Annette Benning, uh, probably Jennifer Lawrence, and maybe Michelle Williams. But I still think Natalie Portman has this. Uh, please don't let Annette Benning win. But yeah, go Natalie, Port go Natalie Portman. Um, and then we have outstanding performance by a male actor in a leading role, and the winner was Colin Firth. Um, a lock. I don't think anybody else has a chance. Um, yeah, honestly, I, I mean, not really nobody else has a chance at this point. I think Colin Firth has this in the bag. Um, Jesse Eisenberg, yeah, he's great, but I don't think he's gonna win. James Franco was great, but yeah, he wasn't gonna win either. It's Colin Firth's award already they're gonna give him the Oscar and then um, not really a surprise but this is becoming a trend now for this film for winning I think it's become the front runner now and outstanding performance by a cast in a motion picture which is basically the Screen Actors Guild version of the best picture uh, and it was won by the King's Speech I think the King's Speech is a front runner now definitely for best picture Black Swan, I mean, not Black Swan, no, I hope the Black Swan would be the winner, but no. Um, uh, King's Speech and Social Network are pretty much kind of neck and neck with King's Speech, just a slight more momentum than the Social Network, but it could be very close. Honestly, um, uh, 
in the Oscars. I know they, they nominated 10 movies. There are really only, probably only four, maybe five have any chance. And the ones that actually have a chance um, are King Speech, Front Runner, uh, Social Network right behind it, The Fighter, um, Black Swan, and honestly, that's probably it. I don't see, I can't see any other movie winning, but those four are probably the ones to watch on Oscar night. And so, you know, that was my quick uh, thoughts on the SAGs. Um, uh, what did you guys think? More of the same? Yeah, kind of. But, um, uh, you know, nearing end of January, um, uh, you, this has been awesome. Uh, contest is probably, I guess, is going to be over after I post this video. Um, great response. I'll do the drawing tomorrow after I get back from class because I, I start class again tomorrow. So I'll be getting back kind of later ish and I hate Best Buy you suck I have to go to another Best Buy to go pick up some of the movies now um yeah so I'll see uh, thanks for watching please comment rate subscribe and I'll see you guys tomorrow